with thousands of students headed back to the classroom this week, many parents may be packing your students' lunches right now, but are you providing them the proper nutrition? Dr. Salim Sarani joins us live to discuss proper nutrition to fuel the brain and body. Dr. Sarani, good morning once again, and thank you so much for joining us. How does nutrition affect learning, and what foods increase academic performance? Good morning, Barbie. Glad to be here. I think uh, we need to realize healthy body, healthy mind. And if you don't have a healthy body, your mind cannot be healthy. Whether you take the exercise or nutrition, they play a key role. Even if you take the exercise, only 24% of the uh, kids in the school are doing the normal amount of exercise. Now, coming back to the thing, what nutrition? Most of the kids love the junk food. Whether you take a pizza, whether you take a burger, french fries, uh, you need to take a balanced diet. Uh, you need to avoid the junk food. You need to avoid the carb. You need to make sure that you have a lot of vegetables as well as fruits in your diet. The more colorful your plate is, the healthier it is. So you can judge when your plate is just one plain color, uh, you're not getting a balanced diet. So if you want to make sure that you progress well, you have to exercise good nutrition because you, that can help you to improve your uh, memory, the brain function, decrease the risk of uh, depression and anxiety. So one of the key factors is when parents pack their back for the kids, make sure try to uh, uh, make their plate look very colorful. The more colors are in there, it means the more healthier it can get. Dr. Sarani, what about picky eaters? I have one at home. How can they get nutrition? Should we be giving them vitamins? Uh, one of the thing is that, you know, in the past we said that, well, you know, vitamin D is good for bone. Uh, you talk about vitamin A, which is good for the vision. But when you take the healthy diet, if you have a good vegetables and fruit and uh, protein in your diet, you actually get most of the vitamin needed. And if you're doing exercise outside, you get enough sunlight and vitamin D. So if you are living a healthy life and eating good, uh, I think adding the supplementation of vitamin may not play any role in that. Dr. Sarani, as always, thank you so much for joining us. We'll look forward to having you again next week. If you have a question for Dr. Sarani, the number is on your screen. You can text your question to that number, 361-855-6397.